Okay guys, today we're learning how to uh, SSH into our devices. What that is essentially, it just allows you to do file transfers via Wi-Fi. This is for Windows only. Uh, PC users of course. Mac users would want to use uh, Cyberduck instead of WinSCP. First thing you need to do is download WinSCP from www.winscp.com. Next you're going to install OpenSSH from Cydia. Next you'll connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, the last step in preparation is looking up our iPhone's IP address and there's a very easy way to do that you just go to your settings menu on the iPhone and then we're going to want to look at the Wi-Fi tab right there and then once you see the, the network with the check mark right here you're going to hit the little blue tab on the right and you will see where it says IP address so you're going to remember that, write it down, whatever you got to do to remember it. And then we can go to WinSCP, which we've already installed on our computers, hopefully. When you open up WinSCP, it's going to look just like this. And we can jump right in there. For hostname, that's our iPhone's IP address. So go ahead and type that in. Go to username, which is root, R-O-O-T, lowercase. The password is Alpine. A L P I N E. Closer view. Um, as we get these three boxes filled out, you don't need to change any of the other settings. You can just go ahead and log in. It generally takes a minute or two to log in the first time, so don't be nervous if you can't log in. If you get an error message, um, you may need to restart the phone and just make sure. If you have something like Boss Press or SB settings, that you have SSH turned on. And see, uh, we have a non connection there, so we'll just start over. It also, you'll probably also get a message saying that the operation has timed out or it's been trying to connect for 15 seconds. If you get that message, just be patient and let it um, try to log in again. <clears throat> it takes a good solid minute for it to log in the first time. And you can see it's working. And then when it asks you right now if you want to add the host key to the cache, you can just go ahead and click yes. And then you'll be logged in to your iPhone's files. Now what you're going to see as I zoom back is you're going to see two boxes essentially. You're going to see a box on the left hand side over here. Those are all of your computer files. That's everything in the computer defaults to the documents folder in your computer. What you see here are all of the iPhone's files. And there's all these folders. Now the main folder in this drop down menu here is the root folder and you'll see quite a few different folders in there. Now if you ever hear one of us saying oh that that item that you need is located in the say private ver mobile library folder what we mean by that is you would go to your private folder which is here double click that then you would go to ver and then you would find mobile and double click on mobile and then library <laughs> Now the easiest way to transfer the files to and from is just to drag and drop. So say there was a file in here, my son's music, that you wanted to transfer into the iPhone. You would just drag it, you just click on it, and then drag it on over to wherever, whatever folder you wanted to drop it in. No, I'm not going to drop it in any of these folders because that's not the correct spot. But essentially you get the idea. You would drop it and then you'd see a box pop up here letting you know what's being transferred and where this is the address here where it's being transferred the folder that it was going to drop in you would then hit copy and it would copy that file from your computer into the iPhone it doesn't delete the folder that you have saved on your computer it just makes a copy of it and vice versa if you just drag and drop from the iPhone's files which again are here on the right and you transfer them over to the computer side 
it just makes a copy it does not delete them if you're going to if you're thinking about deleting anything um, make sure you make a backup of whatever file you're going to transfer move or otherwise make non-operable the easiest way to make a backup um, is to right click the file and then where it says rename right here go ahead and select that and then at the very end of the file name it just leave the name regular as it is and then just name it dot bak or you can name it dot back and then that just says uh, kind of a note to yourself hey here's the backup file just in case anything goes wrong or you need to pull that file uh, if you delete a file it's gone forever it doesn't stay in the trash it's it's toast um, so that's pretty much it guys that's WinSCP that has had a SSH into your device needed for a lot of uh, different types of things as you can see up at the top there's a bunch more menus I'm not going to go into that um, essentially just leave all the other stuff alone you don't really need to be messing around with that kind of stuff um, you can end up messing up your iPhone and uh, having to restore it and we all know that's no fun uh, any questions or anything let me know customer.service at freedomforiphone.com and we will have someone get back to you thanks guys bye